Uh, I'm gonna upload them right now. Oh, really? Know. Okay. But I won't be up. I can probably make them up tonight. I'll just. I would love to. <clears throat> so it says the function with the zeros, negative one third, comma plus or minus two. So those are our two zeros. And remember, whenever we have zeros, we can write them as factors. So I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna worry about that. The negative one third right now. I'm just gonna write. Let's just write these two as factors. X minus two x plus 2. Right? So since they have zeros, they said find the function, the polynomial, um, with the zeros. And this is going to be a third degree. So now I can do my math, right? Do the box method if you need to. x times x is x squared. Negative 2 times x is a negative 2x. x times 2 is 2x. Negative 2 times 2 is going to be a negative 2. So therefore, this turns out to be x squared. Isn't there a difference, this first two, but the difference of two squares? Right. x squared, those cancel out. Um, that's four. Yeah, it is. x squared minus four. Right? Mm -hmm. So yes, you could have obviously gone the difference two squares and been like, boom, x squared minus four. Done. All right. Um, so we got those two factors. When it's um, plus or minus a number, is it always going to be the difference of two squares? Depends if they're the exact same number. Like this. Well, if it's like... No, That's when it's when the zero is plus or minus, plus or minus a number. Yes. It's always going to be different two squares. Yep. Okay, thank you. Continue. All right. Now we have x equals one third, so I can write that as x. So here's my one two factors, right? We're gonna have to multiply this by whatever x one third is. Right. X minus one third. It would be x plus, plus one third. One third is my factor. Now you could multiply one third times that. There's really nothing wrong with that. You'd still get the, the same answer, but I don't like fractions. We don't like I don't like fractions either. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, is there another way I could have wrote this zero? Instead of saying x plus one third, is there another way I could have wrote the zero? Three. Well, let's pretend I had x equals negative one third, right? That would have been at zero form. Right. Right? If I, you know, if you would have did something, you would say, hey, x equals negative one third, that's the zero. Well, let's put it back in the factor form. Instead of adding that one third back over, we can multiply by a three, right, right Jessica? Yeah. Right, and you get three x equals negative one. Then I can add the one to the other side. So I get three, three x plus one. plus one equals zero. So you could say, hey, make this your factor. Okay. And that's what we'll do. So three x plus one times x squared minus four. And then, let's just do another box, because it's just easy to organize. So 3x plus 1, x squared minus 4. 3x times x squared is going to be 3x cubed. 3, 3x 1 times x squared is 1x squared. 3x times negative 4 is a negative 12x, and 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So my function which I'll call f of x, equals 3x cubed. Plus 2x. Plus, well. 2x squared, I mean x this? squared. Yes, x squared. squared. Minus 12x. 12 12x. 12 12 plus 4. Minus 4. Minus 4? Oh, yes, yeah, minus 4. And the other important thing, just to remember, is remember our, uh, our rule that, you know, the, the total number of zeros is the maximum number you can have as your degree. Right? Right. So since I had three zeros, the maximum it's three well, it's two to the third power. Right. So that mean that doesn't it's not always gonna be that case, what I'm saying is the most amount uh, my zeros could not be any I couldn't have anything smaller, I couldn't get the next square. Mm -hmm. The largest it could be it would be a um, three x to the third. And that's it. Yeah. That's very fun. Mm -hmm. So